Hi students. So today we are going to deal with the problems of transfer pricing. So I have written a question on the board. Just have a glance at it, understand it and then we will solve the question. So what is given in the question is, there is a Manama com company and it has two divisions named Beta and Theta. So Beta produces circuits and these circuits are ultimately used as a finished product of Theta division now. And the cost of producing of beta is given, variable cost is given as 40, fixed cost is given as 10. And it is also given that this beta company sold part of its product in open market at a rupees 70 per circuit. And the next information what is given is theta division generally brings 60% of the output of beta division. And that too it is bought at negotiated price of rupees 65 per circuit. Okay. And what is given is a company wants to change its transfer pricing method. And various suggestions have been received by the company. And some among the suggestions is to add 35% to the total cost and charge the transfer pricing. And the next suggestion which is given is use variable cost of 40% as transfer price. And what, what they ask you to find is find the gross profit on the basis of negotiated price, market price, cost plus price. Variable cost, real pricing and they have given certain additional information regarding Tita company that is additional processing and marketing cost of Tita company is 100 per unit and the selling price of Tita division is 200 per unit. So you are, you are asked to find the gross profit by using negotiated price transfer pricing method, market price transfer pricing method, cost plus pricing method, variable cost pricing method and dual pricing method. So let me give you a glance of what these pricing methods are. Coming to the first one that is negotiated price. So negotiated prices of any transfer price is fixed on the basis of negotiation between the selling company and the buying company. It is termed as negotiated price. That is on the basis of discussion between a selling company and a buying company. If any price is fixed it is known as negotiated price. And the second one is market price. So market price is a transfer price which is fixed on the basis of the real market price of that output. That is what is the present market price of that output on the basis of the market price of that output. Here internal transfer price is fixed and that is termed as market price or transfer price. And cost plus pricing method is where the transfer price is fixed on the basis of total cost plus desired rate of return. And under variable cost pricing, the transfer price is generally equal to the variable cost of the product. And coming to the last one, that is dual pricing. So dual pricing is a method of charging two prices where the selling company's transfer price will be equal to total cost plus the desired rate of return. Whereas the buying company's transfer price will be equal to the variable cost. So this is what is given in the question. Let's, let's deal with the solution. So now we will start with the solution for the problem. So they have asked you to find out negotiated price, market price, cost plus, variable cost and dual pricing method. Under these methods you have to find the gross profit of the company. Isn't it? So in order to find the gross profit, what we have to do is we have a formula. That is profit minus transfer cost will give rise to gross profit of a company. So the present thing what we have to do is we have to find out the existing profit of the company. So in the question already information is given that the marketing cost of Tita company at present is 100 per unit and the selling price is 200 per unit, isn't it? So sales minus cost will give rise to profit. So sales which is given is 200 minus processing or marketing cost 100. When you subtract it, you will get 100 as your profit. So using this profit, you have to find the gross profit using different transfer pricing methods. So we will start with the first one, negotiated price. So as I already told, negotiated prices, here transfer price is determined on the basis of negotiation between buyer as well as seller, isn't it? So we, in order to find the gross profit, we need profit as well as transfer cost, isn't it? So profit already we have is 100. The thing what we have to find is transfer cost. But in the question already, the negotiated price is given in the question as 65. 
So negotiated price is treated as the transfer cost, isn't it? So here the profit will be 100 is given as profit minus transfer price is 65. That is equal to 35 per unit will be the gross profit or the company under negotiated pricing. Clear? So coming to the second one that is market price. So in case of market price again, when from profit if you subtract transfer cost, you will get the market price gross profit. Okay. So here we have profit but we don't have transfer cost. Isn't it? So transfer cost here under market price is the price which is prevailing in the market is treated as transfer cost. In the question it is given as market price is 70 per circular. So that will illustrate it. 100 is your profit minus market price is given in the question as 70. That will be treated as transfer cost. Then 30 per unit will be the gross profit under market price transfer pricing method. And coming to the third method that is cost plus method. Under this cost plus method, again in order to find out gross profit, we need profit minus transfer cost. So the thing what we have to find, we have to find the transfer cost, isn't it? So under cost plus pricing, transfer cost is equal to total cost plus total cost into desired rate of return. Clear? So total cost in the question in the sense, fixed cost plus variable cost will give rise to total cost. So fixed cost is given as 10, variable cost is given as 40. So the total cost will be 50 plus total cost is 50 into desired rate of return in the question is given as 35, isn't it? So 50 plus 50 into 35 percent if you do, you will get the answer as 17.5. So the total transfer cost is 67.5. So from 100 subtract 67.5, you will get the answer as 33.5 per unit as gross profit. Clear? And coming to the fourth method that is variable cost. Under variable cost, transfer cost is generally the variable cost. Isn't it? So profit is given in the quest. Profit we have found out it is 100 minus transfer cost. Variable cost is treated as transfer cost under variable costing method. So variable cost given in the question is 40. So 100 minus 40 is 60 per unit will be the gross profit under variable cost method. And coming to dwell pricing, so I told you in dwell pricing there are two transfer prices. That is for the seller transfer price will be total cost plus desired rate of return. Okay. And for the buyer transfer cost will be variable cost. Clear. So we are finding out the gross profit of buyer. So buyer here is theta, isn't it? For theta, the variable cost is the transfer price. So, it will be 40. Is it theta? So, profit is 100 minus transfer cost is treated as variable cost under dual pricing for the buyer company. Is it? So, it is 40. So, 100 minus 40 is 60 per unit will be the gross profit under dual pricing for theta company. So, this is about the first problem.